All right, y'all, this is Alex with WMD back at you again. Today we are going to check out the WMD SSF VC mini slew. Instead of going through this entire module, I'm just going to explain how to use it as like a portamento function. So it's something I like to explain a lot with the mini slew is that you can use it to process CV and it's kind of hard to explain without just showing you exactly what I mean. This is a fun way to just create like little acid lines out of a pretty standard sequence. So um, first what we're going to do is we're just going to get the architect rolling. So I'm going to take my gate output of my architect and I'm going to run it into my buffered molt, which is controlling my envelopes, envelopes. And then I'm going to take the volt per octave out and I'm going to run that into the buffered molt as well that is running into all the volt per octave signals. So I've got two oscillators here and an evolution filter. So I believe if we listen now. So as you can hear, I've got a little bit of a sequence roll in here. And that sounds pretty good. But let's add a little bit more of, um, let's add a little bit more slide to it, just a little bit more like fluidness to it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the volt per octave signal and we're gonna run it through the mini slew. So the mini slew has an input and an output and we're gonna run our voltage signal into the input and out of the output. So we'll take, find our volt per octave out here of the mini slew and we'll run it into the input here, or sorry, volt per octave out of the architect we're going to run it into the mini slew, go out of the output, and we're going to run into this buffered mult again that I was talking about. And we'll turn up our channel. And now you can hear that we've got the same sequence basically, and I've, nothing's really changed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some gates out of the Metron that's controlling my all of my subtractive line here on my baseline. So I'll just go into gates. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to add some slides. So I'm going to say every time the voltage goes up, let's add some slides. So I'll add this rise slow down here. And you can hear it's not even getting up to those yet. Let's change up our shape to go more of like an exponential just a little bit. So with the rise and fall all the way down, you can hear the sequence just the way we put it in. And as I slow down the rise, every time the voltage is going up, it's starting to slide up. And every time it goes down, it's still snapping fast down. So instead of going up, we're going to slow down the voltage when it's on its downward path here. And that's getting in there. That's like... So we can also change the rise and fall times with CV. So how we're going to do that is we're just going to run a gate output into from our Metron and we're going to run it into the quad attenuator. And then we'll take the quad attenuator out so that we can find exactly where we want our rise time to be. Right now I'm going to open it all the way up and we're going to turn the rise, or we're going to turn the fall all the way down. So now it just sounds like a normal, like the normal sequence. And then with these gates, we're going to open it up every once in a while. So I go to channel 16. Let's say we only want it to be on this last, these last four steps. So I'll add some gates to the last four steps. And I'm going into the rise, so why don't we go into the fall. Actually, rise is good. So now you can hear what's happening is that because I'm using a gate input, um, I'm slowing it down so much that we're not getting that rise anymore. So I'm just going to turn down the quad attenuator until we just get a nice, subtle, Glide. So 
So now that sounds pretty good. We can just uh, move this around, try the fall CV instead. So now I'm going to take another output of my Metron and I'm going to run it through a quad attenuator again so we can really dial in the slide amount. And I'm going to run that into the rise. Right now we've got the sound of the fall um, sliding, but let's try this rise. So now I'm choosing exactly when I want the rise to slide and when I want the fall to slide. And um, and I have independent control over how much each one's going to happen just by processing these gates with the quad attenuator. So now with the quad attenuator, I can turn off slide completely or I can just only allow it to happen on the fall. Or I can just choose to have it only happen on the rise. This is only happening on certain uh, steps that I have gated as well. So now I can gate some more, get some more slide going on, and then I'll turn out the fall. <laughs> so now with these two, now I've got, now I've just basically got two knobs that I can add some crazy slideness to my sequence with. So let's turn up our drums. attenuator I can choose my max amount here and then I can also offset it with the knobs here so playing around with the signal that's coming from the Metron so playing around with the gate signal that's coming out of the Metron going into the quad attenuator and then into the mini slews CV inputs as well as the mini slews independent knobs so it's a nice way to create a cool little acid sequence without having to have like a 303 or a 303 style sequencer you now have that um, slide that I think is one of the coolest most um, most covetable parts of a 303 besides like you know everything about a 303 <laughs> So that's creating Portamento and Slide with the VC Mini Slew. Tons of other ways to use this thing. That's just one. I mean, you can have it be, you can make it an envelope, you can make it an oscillator, you can make it an LFO, um, and you can do this with it. So super versatile module, super fun. And um, I hope that inspires you to grow out and create some music. Have some fun. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.